come this far by faith. Trusting in his holy word. He's never. I said never. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord for being there for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God. We thank you, Lord, for another preaching moment. We thank you for your word, God. Will never pass away. Now, God, we come to hear from you today. We need to hear a word from you. Bless us, God, as only you can. We all bless and relax in Jesus' name. Let every heart say amen. 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 Thank Lady Pauline for that beautiful presentation. <laughs> Very informative. Amen. Amen. She did a great job, and I heard, I saw that y'all were listening. Mm-hmm. It's important mm-hmm. that we listen. Amen. 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 She gave us some sobering statistics mm-hmm. from the American Cancer Society, and it's real, y'all. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, the good news is that it can be prevented. With just a lifestyle change. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Good to see all of you here. You to stay just for a little while after service. Amen. For a brief, brief uh, congregation meeting. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you have your Bible, go with me to the Gospel according to Matthew, verse 18. Amen. We thank God for the day for me this week. She had, I uh, everybody knows that she had lupus. And she had a lupus flare this week. Amen. So God gave her the strength to uh, get through that. Matthew 18, verse 21. Amen. He will do it. And she was able to press her way and uh, present to us this moment with vital information. Matthew 18. Good to see all of you in pink today. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Uh, you too, Pastor. Y'all can take pictures with me in this suit, but you probably won't see me yet. <laughs> yes, you will. But here anytime soon, <laughs> come on, somebody. Me and pink don't get along. Well, you look good. You look good on you. That's what somebody said. I ain't mad at that. I said, take a picture, so you Remember it. Yes. Put it on the wall. But all of you look good in your pink and it's just not my thing. That's all right. Hey, hey, amen. Hey, amen. I told Sister uh, Farmer, don't come to let nobody want to talk to me in this suit. <laughs> it's, it's a very serious uh, thing, this cancer. Uh, I was able to visit the Moffitt Cancer Center this week to go see the premise, hey man. It's, it's a full house there. Yes, it is. And all they have is cancer. All they do is we would just change something. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 18, verse 21. Two verses, 21 and 22. Also, uh, for this is a lot on my heart today. I want to say to Sister Hunt that the Lord used you mightily last week and no my mind. Amen. 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 Use you mightily and may God continue to use you. Amen. 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 I was talking with Elder Lewis. Amen. And I just stuck my chest out. I said, yeah, she's going to <laughs> And uh, you know, Amen. we have to, uh-huh. to do more. Amen. Amen. That's the only way we're going to get to see certain people. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Y'all that one. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew 18, 21, 22. Then Peter came to him, came to Jesus, and said, Lord, mm-hmm. 
I don't walk in the shower of my brother's sin against me. Mm-hmm. And I forgive him. Mm-hmm. Up to seven times. And Jesus said unto him, I, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times. Up to seventy times. Mm-hmm. 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 This morning I want to talk to you for a little while about this on the subject. The power of forgiveness. Mm-hmm. Amen. Amen. Well. Amen. I, I have a serious question. I, I, I have a serious question for you. Is there a demon mm-hmm. living inside of you this morning? Oh my God. Has the enemy taken up residence in you Mm -hmm. and is controlling you this morning? What demon, Pastor? Mm -hmm. What spirit are you referring to? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm talking about the demon of unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Is it is it is it time for you to forgive? Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank God. These folks thinking about that, those questions. Mm. Never looked at it that way, did you? Mm. Is it time? Is it time for you to forgive? In our text, Jesus teaches what kingdom life really is about. Our brothers and my sisters in kingdom life, there is primarily three things. Humility, Mm -hmm. honesty, Mm And finally, forgiveness. Mm, all right. Well, what's your grade? Mm. In the synagogues, was to forgive the perpetrator, or perhaps three times at the most. Mm-hmm. So Peter felt super righteous. Yeah, yeah, they did. And generous. Mm-hmm. And asking, should I forgive him seven times? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Peter has some things going on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and he said to Jesus, look, I, you know, there's this person, mm-hmm. you know, did me wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Can I, should I, be that I'm a super saint, can I, I'm Peter, can I? Can I forgive him how many times? How many? Okay, seven times? Mm-hmm. 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 And Jesus said, that's not my teaching. Mm-hmm. Right. <clears throat> I say 70 times seven. Mm-hmm. Jesus said, Peter, you are to forgive 400 mm-hmm. and 90 times. That's seven times seven, mother. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So Peter must have thought, okay, I'm a pretty good mathematician. <laughs> so Jesus, you say I can forgive him four hundred and ninety times. Four hundred and ninety times. Now, now the question there is, how am I supposed to keep track of this? Mm-hmm. Come on, somebody. Come on, preach, preacher. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and and see, Peter didn't understand, but that was the point. You are not to keep score. All right, you, are. you are not to keep track. Come on, somebody, we are to just keep forgiving and forgiving and forgiving. We, we, all we need to do is look at this. God keeps on forgiving us then. 
Come on, somebody. Anybody here not in need of forgiveness? We all know. Come on, somebody. Look, just in a few verses before that, in verse 18, uh, Jesus said, where there is binding, come on, somebody. He said, I surely say to you, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Uh, 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 yeah, we, we all know that there is binding and loose in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there must also be a free, if there's going to be binding and loosing, there also must be a free, unending flow of forgiveness in the kingdom. The place you're supposed to come and find forgiveness definite is the church. Amen. Because we are amongst those of us who have all been forgiven. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. You, you ain't sitting there because of how great you are or how great you did. You're sitting there because God has forgiven you. Amen. And the same power of forgiveness that you, the one, expect from the God, from the Lord, the same power of forgiveness that you're supposed to give to others. Amen. Amen. Preach, Pastor. Preach, Pastor. No, 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 no. We all know that God is right. And we all know that. Amen. Anybody sitting here don't know right. that God called us to forgive others. That's right. That's right. So, uh, Let's keep it real. Keep it real. <laughs> Amen. Even as a believer, mm -hmm. forgiving someone mm -hmm. who hurt us mm -hmm. can be a hard thing to do. Yes, it can. Amen. 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 Keep doing it over and over again. So I'm going to help us all out this time. Okay, thank you. I, I put on this purple suit. Purple. Purple. Um, okay, pink. Thank you. Pink now, thank you. Pink. Oh, this young little man on your black. Okay, I got a pink suit on. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now so the whole world knows pink. Okay, let's watch this live stream. I'm gonna help us all out this morning. Amen. It's normal. To be angry mm -hmm. at the people mm -hmm. who let you down. That's normal. Right. That's normal. That's normal. That's normal. So I would say, be angry, but say not. That's right. It's, 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 you can't tell somebody, don't, don't, don't be angry at that. Mm -hmm. like, come on, somebody. Come on. come on. They have let you down. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and holding a grudge mm -hmm. can be tempting. Oh, yes. Can I keep that up this morning? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You know, come on, somebody. If, Amen. If, if, if what we think sometimes can kill somebody. No. Jesus. Some of you did right now. Amen. I know I did. Can directly hurt you. Yeah. And we start thinking. I will get them back mm -hmm. one way or another. Well, and ladies, how many of you girls? I mean, what do you do? I go home. <laughs> the truth. But a woman, a scorned woman, oh, yes. right? can be a dangerous woman. Yes, she is. Right. Right. That's right. Preaching now. Come on, brother. I'm trying to help you. My wife said, uh, happy wife. <laughs> I heard that too. Yes, sir. Happy life. That's what they say. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, mm -hmm. resentments can kill. That's right. It can. It can. Having a resentment mm -hmm. is like drinking poison. Mm -hmm. And expecting somebody else to die. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. That's 
Forgiving people for the harm they cause mm. ain't easy. Mm. But it is for your own, your own well being. Amen. Yes. It's one of the best ways to reduce the animosity mm -hmm. you feel mm -hmm. and get you to a place of peace. Is like torment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but that's the G. Mm -hmm. Why is it so hard to forget? Just simple and easy. Mm -hmm. But many people resist forgiveness mm -hmm. because they don't truly understand what forgiveness is. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. that's true. Forgive him. Watch this. Is it the same mm -hmm. as forgetting? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. 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 That's not the same. Because you're mm -hmm. just preaching that. Okay. Preach, yeah. Pastor. Go ahead. Teach. Mm -hmm. Right. It doesn't mean you're letting somebody off the hook. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm Is that what I'm thinking? That's basic. Mm -hmm. I ain't got my glasses, I can't see anything except in my office. God bless you. Oh, my goodness. Don't yes. come here. Yeah, because I was over this thing in the bathroom. Thank you. Thank you. He's a way maker. He's a way maker. Resentment can lead the garden 
that God has planted you in, make that plan a preacher. Resistance is going to lead the church that you are supposed to be part of. Come on, somebody. As long as you gotta watch who you allow into your ear. But resentments can come. Come on, somebody. You hear it. Amen. Come on, back. Perfect ones. Uh. Resentments can end relationships. Uh -huh. Resentments can cause, watch this. Uh -huh. Resentments can cause illness. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Physical. Uh -huh. As well as mental. As well as spiritual. Sick. Resentments can eat you up from within. Mm -hmm. It will stop you from praying and worshiping God. Amen. It will stop you from using the gift that God gives you. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. And ain't nobody come to steal, kill, and destroy the plot to them. So unforgiveness, resentments, anger, bitterness, whatever you carry today. You got hate for somebody? Help me, Holy Ghost. It ain't not but the devil. But today we can tell that devil that enough is enough. I surrender all. And all to him I owe. Shouldn't have left a Christian stain, but he was there. It, it is an invisible camera. And, and watch this. It is a killer, not for the one that the resentment is towards. It's a killer of the one who has the resentment. Amen. And if left unchecked, it's chronic, even hatred. Chronic. And living a life filled with resentment. And sometimes you can tell. Those who are burdened down yes. with hate it shows. and yes. anger. Yes, it does show. Can I get a witness? Amen. Don't tell me how much Jesus is in your life. Yeah. And you walking around bitter, amen. Look like you suck on the letter you can't. Praise God. Amen. Help me, Holy Ghost. You ain't coming back to the church. Help me, Holy Ghost. Don't tell me that you know Jesus. To Jesus, amen, Lord. Say thank you, Lord. Lord, you've been good to me. Help me, Lord, to release some of this stuff. I gotta get this stuff off me. It's causing me to stay sick. It's causing my mind to be all messed up. You need to help.
even if you are concerned about the other person's feelings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Forgiving them supports your own mental and physical and spiritual wellness. Amen. 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 Sure you're right. Amen. Amen. You just said something, Pastor. Mm -hmm. You're sure right. Mm -hmm. That's deeper than American cancer. That's right. Mm -hmm. right. That's right. Because frustration and bitterness is cancer. It's cancer. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. It, it can start small mm -hmm. and then it can spread throughout the whole body right. yes. of Christ. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It'll make you stop singing. Mm -hmm. It'll make you stop praising God. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Preach, Pastor. When we forgive others, mm -hmm. there is a freedom. Mm -hmm. It moves us mm -hmm. from selfish illusions mm -hmm. to a beautiful reality. Mm -hmm. Now, now, it's hard work. Yes, it is. It is yes, hard it is. work. But letting go of the illusion mm -hmm. that we can change the past, mm -hmm. that we can change others, mm -hmm. or even that we are the ones who can change ourselves. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Letting go of that illusion opens room for God to help us get rid of the resentment Amen. that we feel. Mm -hmm. Each time we forgive, mm -hmm. my brothers and my sisters, it paves the way for the next time we need to forgive. It makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Practice it. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis, mm -hmm. the courage and the patience and letting the Lord into the process of forgiving becomes like exercising a muscle. All right. Mm -hmm. Today with him, we can come to a point where forgiveness can be our lifestyle. Amen. That's what Lady Pauline was trying to tell us. To avoid that cancer, I'm talking about the cancer of bitterness and resentment. Yeah. It can kill you too. It can. That's right. Yeah. And that muscle can grow stronger, that spiritual muscle can grow stronger and stronger. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day. Thank you, Pastor Jesus. <laughs> Together with him, my brothers and my sisters, yes. we can come to a point where forgiveness is what we do. Mm -hmm. It becomes a blessed lifestyle. It becomes a blessed way to live. And by 
and his stripes, we are healed. We are all sheep and full of strength. We have turned everyone to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Jesus paid it all. And all to him I owe. Can I give a witness? His power is forgiveness. Let it go. Enough is enough. Come on, somebody. If you need to lay that burden down, you'll feel better. So much better. We start laying our burdens down. We start drinking like they used to. Since I lay my burdens down. And one day I'm going home to live with Jesus. And you can't be the same as the heaven. So you need to lay it down. Somebody say, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Since I lay my burdens down. Come on, sir.